what's up everybody welcome to your 27th angular js tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be finally finishing off with services factories and providers now in this tutorial i'll be showing you what are some major differences in services factories and providers and i guess the best way would be to write a message in all three in a single code so let's just first of all get rid of this code uh, not all of that just the main one now first of all let us create an, a service so this should be simple let's just write the service name as um, from service and inside the function what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this dot mm, message is this is from service and that's it pretty much and for application.factory I'm gonna write from factory and inside the function again I'm gonna do var factory equals to a blank object and I'm gonna say factory dot message is this is from factory and don't forget to return factory and from the provider from provider and I guess I forgot to tell you guys that inside provider as well you can use this keyword so you can make use of this dot message equal um, provider or this is from provider and obviously you would make use of the get because get is what is um, you can say initiated by the injector so get function so this would return me message or let's just rename this to something else um m1 would be good so this dot m1 and i guess this would work so application dot controller is app function from service from factory and from provider alright so I'm just gonna say a greet message here so scope dot greet message is equal to from service dot message from provider dot message oh, this should be just message and from factory dot message Okay, so let me just take a look if everything's right and uh, doesn't seem so. Okay, so scope is not defined very well. Okay, so this is from service seems good, but provider is not happy, I guess. Okay, so if I change it to um okay so um i guess you can rather change it to our mm m1 and this to m1 and see if it works uh, okay okay so yeah it works and uh, if you really want to use the this one what you can do is instead of writing return instead of returning anything you can actually create get as a this function because after all what's happening is that you are eventually uh, not you but the injector is eventually looking for a get function and it can find it inside this as well because with this we are just writing from the from provider only which we are returning so if you see um, right now 
also it works so you can either use this code if you want to use this or if you just want to avoid this at all then you can make use of var m1 and just m1 here so if you take a quick look at the whole code you see that in services we are just making use of this dot message and returning nothing it's up to you in factory you can't use this you have to make an object and return that in provider it's up to you you can either use this or return an object and provider also gives you the flexibility uh, to you know act inside a provider so from provider provider well that's how it should be but I guess I'm missing a function here okay so here you go now inside this as well you could write a function like um, uh, you can say set a name and this function would accept a name and this would just set m1 to name plus a gap or a gap plus name okay so now we can just set up our provider from provider provider dot set a name equals to go dam and if we take a look at that in the browser you see that we get this is from a provider code dam now you see that how that's how providers work and they're more flexible than factories and services but provider is a hell lot mess as well so if you have a simple application or you just don't care at all you can make use of factories and services but if you are looking to take control in your hands you have providers there for you so that's all how all three works and i hope all three are clear for you and if you still have any doubt then feel free to leave comments below and i'll be happy to assist you and that's it for this tutorial and we'll be doing something more interesting in the next one and in the upcoming ones so if you have liked this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then.